So while I'm editing this video, I realize that this intro, when I recorded the video, is totally messed up. I just messed up what I want to say and it kind of just makes the intro totally messed up and unfixable. Even though the power in editing is very powerful, this time is very unpowerful. So I decided to redo it. As you see, I'm not really in fish and repair when I'm in my room. This is my room. So I'm just going to give the details of what I said in the intro. In the video I am editing, we are fishing the lake that connects to the pickerel spot. And I said in my first two videos. I went there with my dad two hours after it rained that day. I originally wanted to go as it was raining, but they're going to do a little bit. It was a stupid idea. So when it stopped raining around 6 o'clock, my dad was home. He said, you know what? Let's go fishing. So we went, and it was a banger. We had we caught six fish, six or seven. I think six, though. And some are really good. And I even posted a picture on my Instagram of a little sneak peek. Go follow me at AJ Fishing. So you can get little sneak peeks of fish and upcoming videos that they're nice. So back to what I was saying. We went there and we did really good. And I have so much footage that this is gonna be need to be a two-part series. So make sure you guys leave a thumb up if you enjoyed this part for the next part that will be uploaded in, in hopefully a few days, depending on how baseball has it going. That brings me to why I've been gone for so long. I'm finally uploading a video after probably three weeks due to baseball, rain, and yard work. I've just been caught up on so much stuff helping my dad. I just haven't had time to go fishing. I want to keep this intro too long, but I just want to go into a little detail so you guys understand. I'm only 13, and I still have other stuff going on in my life. So I'm still experiencing stuff, and trying to find time to go f fishing and record a video, it's getting hard. But now that school's ending, summer's approaching, we should find a few days where me and my dad can go out and go fishing. So stay tuned and stick around for those hopefully, hopefully videos coming up in the future. I want to keep this intro too much longer. Make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on notification bell for when this video gets uploaded and the next video. Just any videos that get uploaded on my fishing channel. And I think this will be the first video that I don't put on Made for Kids if you guys realize that all my other videos are Made for Kids. So comment down below if you enjoyed this video and are excited for the second video. And if you guys are ready, I think that's enough for this intro. Let's hop in right into the action. Look at this bass. Look at that bass. Just made a cast and caught this guy. Wow. I wasn't caught on a crankbait. Oh, just now? Alright, so it's been two hours since I recorded my little intro. Uh, at that time, it was raining. This time, it's not raining. I just got done like 15 minutes ago, and we decided to go fishing. My dad and I, my dad got home, decided to go fishing. So, I'm going to use the crankbait as what I caught the fish on yesterday. My, today is, like I said in the intro, Friday, June 11th. I don't know if I said that. Striking crankbait, one fourth ounce. So I caught uh, my big bass on yesterday, which I will show in this video if something good happen, which I hope it will. So you're not gonna lose it, or not? Um, I did, I did a little research, and people say after it rains, top water is good, but so I do have a buzz bait, which I've seen people use during rain and after rain. I told you you're gonna get it. So I might throw that on. I think for right now, also spinner baits good, people say. For right now. What?
think. Mm. Yeah, I, every time I caught something here is pretty big. I mean, both of the bass I caught here are pretty decent size. There's that. Oh my gosh, I I I I only have three singles left. I'm not using another single. I just every time I, I. Every time I cast a Singo or I get caught on a lily or something, it just breaks off. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop using this Tinko. Just for right now. I only got three left. I'm gonna save them. What can I use? Uh, Crack and Crawl. Weedless Crack and Crawl. Watch my Mystery Tackle Box video to find out. I think this is 10,000 fish. Yeah, our catch code. Cast this right up in the lilies. You'll be safe. That's not bad. You think a frog will work in there? I mean, yeah. That's a pretty good spot. Bass. Right, fishing these lilies is just a lost cause. Nothing's come out of fishing that. What are you using? That jerk bait still? One. What? Mm. Crack and crawl. Might be your best bet, actually. Try to get up against the bank. I just hit the GoPro. <coughs> okay. No, you don't. That was an amazing spot. Ha ha. I still think there's something in here. I don't know why. I have a gut feeling, man. It's good to have that fisherman's intuition. What? It's called fisherman's intuition. I think there's something in that spot right there. What that? Little, those two holes right there? Well, I guess it's... Probably. Got something? Yeah, I do. Yeah, dude. I got something, boys. Boy. It's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good. Dad, I, I need you. It's pretty good. Dude, you need to lip it. You need to lip it. Lip it. Lip it. Lip it. Lip it. If you get it, if you get it towards me, yeah, I got you. Lip it. Lip it. Lip it. Lip it. All right, hold him. I got him. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dude, that's a huge bass, man. Huge. That's nice. Wow. Yeah. Get the scale. Yeah, boy. <laughs> get the scale, baby. Let's go weigh this biatch. <laughs> oh, look at that fish. That's, that, that's a good, like, three pounder. That's you got a... another crafting call I can use? Yep. <laughs> Told you. No bloody tail, but. Huge, man. That's a nice All right. One. Let's get the scale. Let's get him on the scale, boys. Nice bass. A. That I could... just made this trip worth coming out. Yup. Second fish in a row. Four fucking ranger, boy. <laughs> 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 I got it, I got it. You know what you call this fish? Viento. We will name him Viento. 2.39. Dad deserves a like on this video. If Dad doesn't deserve a like, I don't know. So I caught a bass yesterday that I will include at the end of this video. And call a bass today. Let's go. Where's my battery at? I don't know where my battery is at. I've been recording. Why? Because hopefully I catch something. Oh, you want to catch the same bass? Huh? You want to catch the same bass? No. I, well, I released it right to your left. Let's go. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you enjoy content like that. That is the biggest bass on this channel I have you caught yet. What? 
So I didn't see my line move out. I just, when I was jerking, there was something on there. I, I was like, it's either a lily or a fish. You know, it was a fish. Let's freaking go, baby. I'm pumped. So I caught a nice fish yesterday. I don't know how much it weighed, but it was like around, that fish was only two pounds, 2.4. So it looked bigger, but it was only 2.4. Yeah, it was only 2.4. It looked bigger, but it was only 2.4. The, the bass I caught yesterday was probably around four or five pounds. So, I mean, yeah, that was pretty good fish. See, my skill is right. Because that, that that fish to me, when I would have first caught it, probably like, oh, yeah, that's a five pounder. But no. Oh, I, forgot, uh, I didn't really need to take a picture. It's not that big, but nice fish. Yeah. I'm glad I put on the crack and crawl. What? Let try this hole right here, dude. Yeah, yeah, there might be something in there. Oh, that's amazing. Get out. See, the, the way, way you fish crack and crawls is once you're out of the spot that you don't like, you just reel in because you want to get it close to the bank and then you just reel in. Because, yeah, there's a, there's a twig right there. Do we have any new ones? What do you mean? Newer ones of these? Yeah. But this dude, is the one you got. this is one that's been in there. Okay. Dude, dude what? I've used Kraken Crawls that I've already been used. I, I catch fish from them. See, I remember saying in one of my videos, where, like, I usually see my line stretch out. Not all the time. Most of the time, yes. But that time, like I said, it just didn't work out. I'm glad I caught that on camera, too. I don't know how low my GoPro battery is. That was right there. Death. GoPro right. What? I hope the GoPro got it. That's nice. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, the, the fish was right there. I, I might have just had another one. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I, thought I felt something heavy pulling it. There has to be one in here. Has to be. Oh, that's an amazing I spot. I want to give this spot up. I want to start consistent here. Right. Got another one. Did you? Oh, it came off. Dude, something swiveled right when I was twitching it. I think something bit there. It could have been a lily. I don't know. I did feel like I was... I got something now. Yep, there you go. It's a nice one. You gotta bring him over. Oh, oh he came off! Frick! Oh my, dude, that was huge! That was big, dude. Dude, there's big bass in here. Oh, man. I would have been like, yeah, I'm getting right back in there. You don't go with that crafting call, dude. Oh, that, right, that's... Get it out of there. Go, get, go after him. Yeah, I fixed my crack and crawl. Darn it. Guys, this is like the best part of the video. That was two fish. That was right where I kind of hooked them. And it, the line's not stretching out. It's just on the twitch. He's gone now. Uh, I mean, he might be around. Give it a couple of keep fishing. Out. Keep pushing that fish so close to me. And if we, if we can't fish like this together, we'll never be able to fish on a boat. Is your GoPro on? Yep. That's a good spot. Man, I really wish I would have landed that fish. That fish was nice. Up against the lilies. Didn't hook him good enough. Darn it, man, that fish is long gone, but bang, guys. Maybe, maybe not, dude. You, you're not, you're, why are you going over there? Because. Three. Check works every time. Okay. What? I don't want to go that way. I'm going against the lilies. Yeah, that's really where I lost the fish. You got two. That second one was probably bigger. Yeah. There you go. This is probably the same one. Dude, it's, it's huge. Loving the crack and crawl, dude. Loving it. 
Easy, bring him over here. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. God, doesn't, don't grab my pole. I got it, I got it. I, I was gonna grab your line. Don't do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's huge, man. Whip him, whip him, whip him. Let's go! Dude, that Holy is... Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh my freaking guys, look at that pass. Oh, get, right. oh, I gotta go get the scale. Oh, I gotta go get the scale. Adam, I need some slack, dude. Yeah. Go get oh. the scale. I want to hold him. I got. I got. I got. I got to take a picture. I got to take a picture. I got to take a picture. This is the one, man. We probably. Here, I got to hold him up. I'm gonna take a picture. Can't get it out. Gotta get me the pliers, dude. Okay. And go get the scale. Boys, let's go. That's two nice fish. That's two nice fish. That that's like a six pounder. That's definitely like a six pounder. It's definitely a six pounder. Maybe. What? Got it out, dude. This, I say it's four pounds. I say four pounds. Okay, let's see. All right, let's turn on the scale. I say four pounds. Calibrate, calibrate. Come on, come on. There you go. Big bass, boy. It's a big bass kind of day. Got him? Yeah, I think so. Let go, let go. Come on, we gotta get him back in the water. 3.67. Yeah, close to five pounds. I mean, four pounds. Three and a half pounds. Yeah, this fish looks bigger. Stop on, it! Get it in there. Okay. Just put him in. Here you go, big guy. Wow, you're one nice bass. There you go. Oh, that fish looked bigger, though. Dude, that, that was an awesome pass, man. Dude, why does that fish look bigger, though? That's what you just don't get. It's 3.67. Three point six seven boys. I call it two point four pounder and three point three point seven pounder. Boys, we are on a streak. <laughs> that is two nice bats, dude. That is three fish. One yesterday, two today, and they were all nice. All over two pounds. Let's freaking go, boys. This video deserves a thumbs up. This is how you catch bass. This is how you catch. Bass. Let me show you guys what you're using. While we're over here, I'll show you guys what you're using. All right, this is, this is the crack and call you're using. We are using. I have had this for over a year and I've never used it until today. 10,000 fish saw crawl it is black and blue by Catch and Co. I got this in a freaking mystery tackle box. Normal, not, not pro elite, whatever. Just a normal mystery tackle box, the brown box, the $20 box. And that fish bit it. Did it bite it down or when you were jerking up? Jerking, jerking. It could have been down, but dude, that uh, was a nice bass. Got a bunch of stuff on my line. We've been recording for over 52 minutes. Dude, that was the one that got away, I think. Probably. I think so. Hi guys, we're back. I just had to see how low my GoPro is. We're at 25, and then they're like 15 minutes on. You got one? Big? I'm coming.